Hello and welcome to the Stephen Mendes channel. Thanks for watching our show. We were having some talk today in the class, the DSP class, about uh, the Lissa juice patterns that you see on the oscilloscope and I thought it would be a really cool idea to set it up on the analog modular synthesizer. So I've got a patch here where I'm using two oscillators and I'm feeding them to the oscilloscope and I'm feeding them to the uh, speaker through a mixer so that we can actually hear as well as see as I alter the frequencies. Now to alter the frequencies across the multiple ranges required I've got the oscillators using uh, my signal processor here. You notice I have the signal processor, those two orange cables coming out of the signal processor. While I've got them feeding into the uh, one volt per octave uh, control of the oscillators and I'm using the offset knobs to control the frequency of both of them so that I can adjust it for multiples. So obviously the Lissa Juice waveform pattern that we see is going to just depend on what's going to the Y axis and what's going to the X axis. So we'll go now to the screen and we will hear as I adjust the ratios. Okay, the camera is focused now on the screen of the oscilloscope and we've got equal frequencies, well nearly equal frequencies going into both uh, the X and Y channel and the only thing that's changing here now is a slow phase change between the two frequencies. They're very close to one another but there's a very slight phase shift between the two of them which is being manifested here as this uh, pattern here where the frequencies are almost equal. Now if you listen carefully, I'll shut up talking in a moment, if you listen carefully you can hear the beating in the, in the tone. Now we're going to raise the we're going to raise the frequency of one of the oscillators. Listen carefully and watch. One frequency is an octave higher than the other. So from a musician's point of view you should be hearing the octave there in the sound. Along with a little beating of course. Now what does the octave mean in actual frequency terms? 
it means that one frequency is twice the frequency of the other. So we've got one frequency twice the other frequency. Which one is applied to the x-axis and which one is applied to the y-axis? Let's tell you in a moment that question. While you listen to it, I'll check it out for you. Okay, it is the y-axis here that is twice the frequency of the x-axis. The y-axis of the oscilloscope is twice the frequency of the x-axis. Now we're going to go... What we're actually going to do now is we're going to reverse it. If you can remember that waveform, we're going to reverse it so that the x-axis is twice the frequency of the y-axis. now is that our wave has been rotated through 90 degrees that's the same wave we had just now except that now we've rotated it 90 degrees because we've shifted the two axes all right well let's go back to the one we had last time and now we're and now we're going to go up to three times we're gonna go up to three times the frequency Once again we are at twice and we are going on now to three. is with the y-axis three times the frequency of the x-axis. There, we've got it almost to stop. It's, it's very, very slowly turning. Now, of course, it's turning because of a shift in phase between the two waves. to four ta uh, sorry uh, four yes four times the frequency now and, and see what happens times the frequency. With a slowly changing phase. We're going to go to five and six and then we're going to stop.
that's about five times there Well, you can hear the higher tone now as separated from the lower tone. Even a non-musician can hear that because the difference in the frequencies is so great. We still have that low bass tone, but now we've got an exact multiple on the frequency between the higher tone and the lower tone. Let me see if I can stop it for you. should be able to stop it if we go to the fine adjustment for the higher oscillator stopped or at least going very slowly so the phase difference is very small now but you notice that what's happening as the frequency goes higher and higher the not the pattern gets more complex and the number of peaks and valleys are more compressed we're getting quite a lot of them there right now as as it as it goes around And then as we come back down to the to the lowest frequency it gets simpler and simpler
back to the original tone, but the direction it spins is dependent on whether the frequency is just a little above or a little below the exact one. Like there it's the same, and then if we go that way, or we can go that way. So the direction it turns is just depend on whether we're above or below the frequency. As you can see, it's, it's passing through the center point there. And if we can get them exact, then we can have a perfect circle, but that's very hard to keep. I could go to the fine frequency adjustment and see if I can get that to do. There you go. Well, almost perfect. Almost perfect. Okay, folks, thanks for watching the Stephen Mendes channel. Please subscribe, share with your friends on social media, and we'll see you soon again.